Hi, I'm Dr. John Medicetti. I am uh, currently the president of the American Board of Oral Plantology, and I'm very excited to be here tonight with one of our board of directors, Justin Moody. A little bit of background about Dr. Moody, for those of you that do not know him, he graduated in 1997 from uh, the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences College of Dentistry. Um, and then after that, he uh, pursued implant uh, education with the Mish Institute. And there he earned both his uh, fellow and mastership with that institute. Um, after that, he completed the uh, AAID Maxi course in Georgia, one of the first Maxi courses in the world. And um, he earned his associate fellow leading to his fellowship. And he was one of the youngest to practice or be awarded a diplomat status by our American Board of Oil and Plantology. Um, currently, he's an adjunct professor at the University of Nebraska, and uh, he's a mentor at the Coy Center, and he's recently was honored uh, as an honored fellow of the AAID. So he's been a real contributor and a real volunteer. Uh, he's currently the founder of Implant Pathways, for those of you who know him there. Uh, that started in 2014, and um, he's the director of that program, as well as New Horizons Dental and private practices. So, Justin, thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to uh, be interviewed this evening. Yeah, thank you, John. Uh, always, uh, always happy to talk about implant dentistry. Super. Yeah, I know. You're such an upbeat guy. I was just saying that before. Upbeat guy is always up, always positive, which is good. Um, and because that's what implant dentistry is about. So I'm going to start with the first question, you know, for our uh, audience out there. Um, as someone trained as a general dentist, such as myself, and from your perspective, what do you think the benefits of being board certified with the American Board of Implantology really, really are? What do you think the benefits of that ABOI diplomat is? Well, first and foremost, it, it makes you a better dentist, uh, a better implant dentist. And I actually, I think it makes you a, an actual better dentist all around because, uh, as I think you would agree with me, the only real tooth replacement solution we have out there is a dental implant. And uh, when we start to dream a plan and look at, uh, you know, doing a uh, um, comprehensive care on our patients, you know, going away from dentures, partials, and bridges and moving to real tooth replacement solutions uh, just, just makes complete sense. And, you know, um, what you said in the, the progression through that was, uh, you know, the maxi course, which I did uh, a while ago. Uh, <laughs> you know, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of choices. I started at Carl Mish and because uh, that was it. Yeah. And there was, a, there was the, Atlanta Maxi course. And, uh, you know, from there, you know, I did things a little more along the lines. I did my associate fellow and then I sat for my fellow. And then I went to the ABOI because like, you know, it's like hard, harder, and then a real comprehensive uh, 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 roundabout, uh, uh, you know, test for the, the ABOI. And, Every step of the way, you know, it got harder and it challenged me. And, uh, you know, having gone through all three of those, uh, um, uh, you know, exam processes, uh, it just made me a better dentist. Yeah. Helped you prepare. Absolutely. I feel the yeah. same way. It's very good to share that, too. People, you know, it's not just taking the test for your qualifications. It's the preparation and uh, setting a goal, whatever it be, you know, a few years down the road that can really push you to be your best. You know, it does take a while, too, because, uh, you know, there's requirements for your cases and to get those yep. cases and to have great cases and great patients to uh, to do that with. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I just every step made me better. Excellent. So um, so you're involved a little bit with our examination process. So you're one of our newer board members, but you've been involved with our examination process in the past. So um, how do you think candidates could prepare themselves for the uh for taking the written and the oral examinations? You know, I think uh, the best thing they can do to prepare for it is to do a good continuum, such as a, such as a maxi course, uh, because, you know, 300 hours is going to provide you a, a foundation. And that, that foundation is, you know, the examiner is an examiner. I, I think people think that we are there to fail them. And that's not it at all. Yeah. Uh, we're there to just find out where their level of uh, uh, knowledge is in implant dentistry. And the bigger foundation you have, the better prepared you're going to be for the questions that you get from the examiners. And, and 
for the questions of the uh, from the written exam as well, because uh, you know you take you know you take uh, what's on the associate fellow, and then the fellow's a little bit harder, and then the the, the ABOI is going to be the most in depth. And it's really the challenging that exam is only to find out uh, where they lie. So having taken a fundamental course and having you know a good rounded amount of uh, CE hours, like I know you got to have you know a certain amount, but I tell people like you should take every course out there. Like take them like, <laughs> because you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn from all of them. Yeah. And because that's what it's gonna take. And then the last step before you actually challenge the board is, man, you should you should take the ABOI's uh, prep, uh, exam prep course. That's and right. I, I, like for one, you're going to get a dose of you know of the level that you need to know. And if you went in there cold like that, we you know we've seen people not pass it because I think maybe they were a little blindsided by not being prepared for it. And, uh, you know, some of them don't come back and challenge it. And I'm really sad about that because that, that doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It just means like maybe you weren't prepared. True. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know many candidates have taken it twice, such as myself, become better candidates. <laughs> well, um, John, and, and if you were to go back and look, um, I took it twice myself. <laughs> Makes us a better person, doesn't it? I, not? Did, I, I had to take the oral twice. I did. There you go. And, I'll, and I'll tell a quick story about it. Um, I got, uh, I let my ego get ahead of me and I, I'll, I won't name who, who it was, but uh, <laughs> they, they, they took me down a rabbit hole that I followed. And I, would, I would have been better off by just saying, hey, like, I don't know that answer, but I can find out. I, I can find it out. That's you great. know, instead yeah. I went down a rabbit hole that was just a wrong damn thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what? I, I took it the very next year and I scored really high and I did just fine. Beautiful. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah. So I do think one of the things that uh, our chairman, Dr. Leonetti, is working on, and we, we've been working on it for the past few years, is standardizing our tests. Different from years ago when me and you uh, took it at a different, uh, a different level. So... Um, much more psychometric today. So, uh, yeah, I know you already mentioned stuff about that. And so I think you already covered this, uh, the advice you'd give to candidates to help educate themselves to prepare for the ABOI examination. I think it was the maxi courses, other courses, and the review course. Yeah. And, and finding good cases to present. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, I know that uh, in the past when I have been an examiner, uh, I know that when we do that crazy case with GBRs and sinuses and these things. Like, like I know we get really proud of the outcomes, but I think bringing something a little more straightforward will benefit them in the, in the, in the exam itself, because the crazier stuff that you bring us, the crazier rabbit holes we have, to take <laughs> you know, and, it, and it's, and then, like I said, it's not to try to fail you, but it's just trying to test your knowledge of where where that is. So I think case selection is up there in my recommendations for people to uh, challenge the board as well. Very good. Very important point. Yeah, because we will be evaluating all their cases uh, this year in particular. Now that's going to be virtual. So yeah, very important for case selection. Absolutely. Quality of the cases. So um, you're one of our newer board of directors, so welcome. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you'll be doing this for uh, quite a few years. So uh, do you have any things that you see as far as the future of the ABOI or some important issues that you think maybe our members are looking to have answered? Well, I think everyone, you know, looks at ABOI and says, what do I need that credential for? You know, like I can go do it. And I, I think there's a whole host of reasons why you should be uh, credentialed. Uh, I already mentioned. I think it makes you a better uh, it makes you a better dentist, uh, regardless of what phase of implant dentistry you're in. But I also think that um, you know it's not a turf war. But it, it, at the end of the day, those of us that have gone through this should be recognized for the credentials that we that we have. And the, the, the American Academy of Implant Dentistry and the ABOI have fought for many, many years to earn the right to tell the public that we are a highly educated, highly credentialed group that uh, you know, now in several states allow us to call ourselves specialists. And I feel like my time uh, as on, the, on the board, um, for me, one of the things I want to see is that that, that 
not only stays where it's at, but is maybe perpetuated into uh, uh, a higher level of, of acknowledgement from our um, from our profession, and to make sure that those that challenge the board are qualified to make those statements, and that they become good ambassadors of implant dentistry. So right. that's. Those are some of my goals for yeah, very important. Yeah, because we have um, we have worked very hard to validate uh, the recognition of our credentials, and it's something uh, I think we should all be proud of. And it's uh, it's a good thing for the public, in my opinion. So I know I know that's where your head's at. So thank you for that. Yeah, it is. Uh, I tell you, you know, you take friends and family out of the equation. Like one of the most, you know, one of the things that I'm most proud of in, uh, you know, my life is uh, actually, you know, becoming a, a board certified diplomat. And uh, I was uh, the youngest one until this guy named Danny Domain rolled around. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I now 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 it's uh, now now it's all over. Now now I'm old too. I got gray in my I got gray and everything else. <laughs> uh, I was very very proud, and I still am of that certificate. And I uh, I also think that it's important for people in uh, implant dentistry to know. And I and I've seen this a lot as our patients move around the country, and when someone moves, like. It's, it's so nice to be able to go to the website and grab the directory. And yeah. I may know someone in the area already, but I don't know all the members of the, uh, of the ABOI. And man, I tell, I tell my patients, I'd say, listen, like you're moving to an area that has a diplomat in it. Like I don't know them and you may or may not you know, gel with them in the clinic. But what I can tell you is they'll know what to do. Yeah. No, you're right. And, and I think that's a, I think that is a, an incredible part of yep. being a credentialed member. It's true. It's, it's quite a network. I've used it quite often myself. You're right. And today, particularly with the, what's going on with the world, everybody's become much more mobile for sure. Absolutely. Yep. So um, let's end up on a personal note with our last question. So uh, positively, what has the ABI done for you and your profession and your professional career? I mean, I think we've we've touched on a few of them already, but uh, you know what the ABOI has done for me is allowed me to have the the confidence to it allows me to have the confidence to speak to other uh, specialists in our our profession at a level that gathers information and respect in a way that we can uh, uh, take that back to our patients and uh, provide them with the very best uh, in care. And the ABOI has also provided me with an amazing uh, uh, group of colleagues that I can uh, refer to, that I can uh, uh, ask questions about. And that is really the camaraderie that we have with the ABOI and it stems from the years of uh, membership in the AID as well. Like it's just, uh, uh, I, could, I could not have, I'm so hungry for an annual meeting that I can go to. <laughs> Like I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. Uh, right, like I can't tell. November. You. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Chicago. Right. I, I, I like. I want to go down like two weeks ahead of time. And just, like, <laughs> you know, just, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I missed everybody, and it's it's yeah. it's the courses and the meetings, but it's also like the dinners and the after hours conversation. That uh, man, I just learned so damn much. Yeah, the camaraderie is amazing. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dr. Moody, thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening. And um, I look forward to working with you over this next year and the years to come uh, for all your uh, participation and contributions to the ABY. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you.